my vlog where I talk about all the things I love about sewing. Um, this week I have a very uh, special pattern to review. It's the Shona dress by Athena Cacao. And I was thrilled when she emailed me and asked me if I would review her pattern because um, she's a big part of the sewing community and the Shona dress is named after Shona from Satisfaction, who I watch on YouTube as well. So I was really pleased to give it a go. I was also extremely happy to be sponsored by Luby D Fabrics, who have sponsored me kindly in the past before, and um, they have just a lovely selection of jerseys. Their children's patterns in particular are just lovely. They have some really different prints on there, so go and check them out if you haven't already. Um, so, Laurel very kindly sent me um, some jersey, and I would say this is probably about a 200 gram weight um, cotton jersey with a bit of spandex in it probably. It's quite, um, it's not heavyweight, it's certainly not, nothing like a ponty. I showed it to you in my last video. It's more of a t-shirt weight, but it, what is unusual about this um, fabric is that it looks like a knit. So if I get up close to the camera, you might be able to see. Please excuse the weird sunshine, something's going on today. The sun is shining and yeah, so it's all a bit weird. Anyway, I'll get up close and you can see this fabric. So, um, can you see, it looks as if it's a knit. So, this is all kind of printed on and it's so soft, I can't tell you how soft it is. But the back is obviously just a plain white. So, it's got all the benefits of looking like a um, knitted garment with none of the drawbacks, i.e. it's not too hot. So uh, this dress I made with Christmas in mind, all the parties that you get invited to at Christmas time. Um, it's got this festive snowflake print which is really lovely on a dark grey background and I really thought that you could dress this print up or down and it would make a lovely sort of staple winter piece for my wardrobe. So um, yes, yeah, thank you Luby Doo Fabrics for sending me this. I am really thrilled with how it's turned out. Um, the pattern is um, really simple to follow. So Athena uh, sent me a link and um, I was able to then download the pattern as a PDF file and print it out at home. And I have to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of PDF pa uh, patterns in the world. I find the whole process of sticking them together reasonably tedious and um, I was kind of brought up if you like on the big four and tissue patterns and stuff so it was quite a different um, experience when I first went for my first PDF and um, the good thing about them is you can access them instantly so if you've got a crazy notion that you want to make something you can have that pattern right now so uh, provided you've got a printer at home you can go ahead and make whatever it is that you fancy making right there and then um, the downside is you do have to assemble the pattern first before you can use it. But on the plus side, uh, there's no tracing, or at least I don't bother tracing, because if you're going to print it out, you can just print it out over and over again. Once it's yours, it's yours. So there are pros and cons to PDF patterns. Um, so Athena, um, originally I was thinking, do I need another jersey dress pattern in my arsenal because I have already got a tried and true one as you know um, uh, sometimes you kind of think the market's a bit flooded with jersey tops and jersey dresses but I thought you know what I'll give it a go Athena's an amazing businesswoman she's set up a pattern company so let's give it a try so I'll show you on here I've printed out the um, line drawings for you to see so this is the simple version I went for um, with a three quarter length sleeve but you have got the option of a shorter sleeve if you want one and then she's got the top version so this one has a ruffle as you can see there and this one has got a smaller ruffle um, I'm not really a ruffly type girl so that one didn't really appeal to me although I could see that that would make a really lovely um, Christmassy dress out of some novelty fabric or something and then You've got like a basic tee and then a dress with a more of a gathered skirt on the bottom. So this pattern really does offer sort of like different variations. 
Uh, it also comes with this really handy printout of where all the bits go. So previously in the past, um, when you're trying to assemble a PDF, trying to figure out how the pattern all fits together can be a bit tricky, especially if you've not done it before. But these, the, the, the tiles are all numbered, so you really can't go wrong. And you just need to trim one side and one bottom of each piece so you can glue them together. And I always use print stick or some similar type of glue to do that because I find sellotape comes unstuck. So yeah, I will show you. I made a few changes to the pattern. So I went for version one, I think it is. Yeah, version one. And I wanted something that I could wear to a Christmas party um, that would uh, be a bit different, but also equally that I could wear dressed down with boots and a scarf in the winter time. So I decided to change the scoop neck on the pattern, so it's quite a nice scoop neck here, to more of a boat neck. Um, and that was fairly easy to do. I just changed the pattern using my new ruler so I bought a French curve when I went to the knitting and stitching show and you can easily use that to change the neckline and that's what I've done here so it's a bit trial and error the first neckline that I drafted when I cut it out was quite a lot higher than this but it's better to go um, for a slightly higher one and then be able to bring it down then end up with something that's not quite what you imagine so this is a nice boat neck this um, dress was inspired by um, Mad Men, so I wanted something figure-hugging, something a bit like a wiggle dress, which is what I've ended up with. Um, it's, it fit me perfectly as a size um, 10, so Athena's instructions do tell you how much ease is in the pattern, which is so helpful because some of the big four patterns you um, go ahead with your um, measurements and make the size they suggest and then you end up with like eight inches of ease or something ridiculous. So it, it does say in the instructions that it isn't meant to be um, a loose sort of for, not a form fitting but kind of a loose dress and how much ease is in it is written on the instructions. So I was able to take my body measurements, um, look at the pattern and decide that I wanted to go down one to make it more form-fitting, to make it more of this sort of Mad Men um, wiggle dress shape. So I made a size 10, but my, like I said, my measurements were a size 12. Um, when I first put it on, the sleeves, they fit perfectly straight off the bat and around the bust. No, no alterations there. The sleeves are set in on the flap, so it's really easy to do. Um, I found the pattern markings really easy to follow and it fit me um, to about here underneath my rib cage and then there was quite a little bit of extra fabric on my waist. So I did need to make some alterations just to get that sort of uh, shape and this was all personal preference because it was a perfectly wearable dress before I did that but I wanted this sort of like hourglass shape. So um, that was just a case of trying it on, using some pins, pinning out the excess fabric and then taking my overlocker and um, changing the shape of the dress slightly to bring it in at the waist, out at the hips and then back in again down at the bottom so it's more of a um, wiggle dress. Have I said that too many times? Probably. Anyway, so I'm going to stand up and show you as much as I can um, and then I've got a little video to insert as well. So you can see the size 10 fit me pretty much perfect around the hips. Um, there was no excess fabric here, but there was quite a bit of excess fabric here. So that's where I pinched it out and then redrew the line so that it went down. And um, I'll show you in the video, you'll see that it comes down to just about knee length, maybe a bit longer and um, I've taken the end of the, the skirt in slightly, so as you can see on this pattern, I've come in more at the waist and then gone in at the bottom. And that is the simplest thing to do with a jersey dress, really. Um, fitting, I find jersey garments is so much easier than woven because you've got that bit of um, extra give in the fabric, so yeah. <laughs> Dress. 
Um, I hope Athena's happy with it too, and Laurel at Luby Do. Um, do check them out. I will put all their details in the uh, description box below. And um, check them out. Press the subscribe button if you like my video today. I do hope you can hear me. I tried to talk up a bit. Some people have said that um, it's not very easy to hear. So do please let me know if you've got any suggestions for future videos or topics or things you'd like to talk about. And um, give me a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.